Good morning, guys. It's Chris from thedaxtrader.co.uk, and it's Tuesday, the 4th of September 2018. This is DAX Technical Analysis. We've just completed the morning webinar. That takes place at 7 a.m. and every morning. If you want to come and join into that, you can. you just got to be there. The link will be in the Telegram channel. You can find that in the description below. Before we proceed with the video this morning, please be aware that trading financial markets is risky. There is a trading disclaimer which applies. That's also in the description. All right, so for today, we'll take a quick run through the charts, have a look at yesterday's price action and the key levels, and we'll have a look quickly at the strategies as well and see what we can expect for today. So a run through of yesterday, there isn't that much to say if we're honest because it was quite a quiet day as uh, Wall Street was closed. So the second half of the session was dead, not really a lot to go through, but there's still quite a bit of uncertainty about future global trade relations. That's keeping traders on their toes at the beginning of September. Uh, seasonally, it's the weakest phase for the DAX. Um, so yeah, it doesn't seem to be the same, uh, the same case uh, for uh, the American indices, at least, as they're still on a record hunt. But uh, you know, maybe that's still going to be a bit of a driver for the Europe stock exchanges, but Suffice it to say that we're in the weakest phase generally for the year. Volatility will come back, but it just tends to be a bearish uh, historical season. And as for other news, I mean, who else but Donald Trump is pretty much at the top of most people's news uh, news feeds. So the planned trade agreement with Canada, maybe that's set to burst. Keep an eye out. Um on Twitter, because Trump was threatening that while he was sat in the bath. Um, it's been difficult, obviously, for them to negotiate with China. And so, you know, I'm not really going to reveal my opinion on uh, their efficacy as leaders. There's the Turkish lira issue that's still going on at the moment. And uh, so, again, that's been bubbling for a little while and um, it's worth still keeping an eye on it and then of course you've got the eu us deal between trump and Juncker. Uh, so keep an eye on that as well cars were in um in the limelight yesterday as even bmw was getting pulled under uh, with the threat of a 10 million euro fine because of the illegal device um, regarding the exhaust gas scandal. So there's probably still a little bit more to uncover here. VW taking the majority of the hit, but I don't know whether the rest of them are innocent. There's quite a lot of German car manufacturers. So, you know, that is a large weighting on the DAX uh, overall. So we'll see. Okay, so that's the, uh, the new side of things. Now, right now, the DAX is actually 375, 376 is a high, perhaps maybe a little higher. Um, this morning I was expecting a mini gap, but we have actually found um, a bit of momentum early on in the morning. We've broken through this 355 high, which is potentially interesting because in the short term, this was our mini range based on the high of yesterday. So broken above that, we're now looking to probably go up to test the exposed pocket 384, which we'll look at in a minute, and the 411 high from Friday. Actually, I don't think that was the high from Friday, but this little spike from Friday, at least. I think the high from Friday was more likely. Yeah, way back up here. Okay, so I'll correct myself. Friday afternoon high then. Or late Friday afternoon high. Anyway, the spike of Friday afternoon. So looking to go to test that, probably if it manages to break out past the 384. Now, that's an interesting uh, situation right now because the strategy which I am using at the moment, using my volume scanner, which I've built, uh, managed to take that to long at the beginning of the session. And the nice news is that that is completely risk-free now because close below this line will close the trade out. And this is a 34-tick chart. So, uh, this particular scanner uh, is available for the gold members. If you want the you know, how to get access to this, then you can do it. You need Sierra charts, uh, but you'll get actually all of the conditions and things that are included in there, and uh, everything will be available if you want it. Now, 
the levels to appear uh, aware of for today, we're currently trading on this profile from yesterday. This is the normal distribution. Value area, pretty central to the distribution. Point of control right in the middle of the value area. So that is a pretty textbook normal distribution bell curve. Um, pretty boring, really. That's nice to see. 381. So uh, I'll show you the chart in a minute. I was looking out for the point of control. And I wonder whether... I just wonder whether I'm questioning whether or not I want to interact with this, but I don't think I do. Okay, uh, where did I get to? Where did I get to? Where did I get to? <laughs> there we are. Uh, yeah, I'll show you why the 384 was interesting in just a moment, uh, as it was an exposed point of control from Friday, I think it was. Um, in fact, you can see this is Friday's profile. We've just tagged it. And so. The range for yesterday was only 60 points or so. So we are now clearly comfortably above that, no problem at all. But the point of control, I'll just get you the numbers if you want them. Point of control 330, pivot was 326, and the VWAP was 328. All three of those were within three or four points of each other. A break above 362 was the main line to be aware of, which we have done, um, broken through that already, or break below 296. All right, quick look in on this. As you can see, we've already now got a range of 48 points, which is two thirds of the entire range from the trading day yesterday. We've only done 40 minutes of the, the session today. Volume was down. That 60 point range, I mean, that is one of the lowest you can see on the board at the moment. Um, since the contract opened. So yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty quiet. Okay, so as far as strategy is concerned, the main one for today really is going to be the volume scanner. Uh, we don't have enough volatility from yesterday to really be using the BBRSI. Uh, envelope is possibly on the cards as well because we are towards the top of that band. We'll have a look and see how we react when we get there. Uh, I won't share this one. Uh, ADX. Uh, it's possible that something's going to fire out as we start to find these. Oh, that is, again, just testing the underside at 384. Um, as we start to find this this early burst, it's likely that that's going to fire something. So I'll keep you updated with that. But this is pretty much the main one at the moment. And as you can see, it's done pretty well this morning. I mean, I'd be normally happy with a, a gain of 35 points. That would be me done for the day. i just walk away now, spend the day on the beach. I know some of you guys that are trading in size, you know, 150, whatever a point, then uh, you probably would have got yourself out after 15 points, let alone 37. So it's a really, really interesting strategy, this one. I'm very pleased that I built it. If you want access to all of this stuff, uh, if you want access to the chart books, if you want access to all of this, then you can get that, the majority of that, on the forum as a premium member. Find out more about that on the website. And the descriptions to all of that are in the uh, description below. This was the 384 level that I was talking about. And that is the exposed pot from Friday. This is the volume profile, TPO, should I say, from Friday. And uh, we've just tagged those zones. The downside TPO was 328 from yesterday. These levels tend to be magnetic. Price likes to go and revisit an area where price was happy doing business. And as you can see, price was very happy doing business in this zone. One, two, three, four consecutive days where the value areas were all in this zone. So price was happy here. And we've now just revisited and we're in that zone now. So there's no surprise that we're back here. But it's just good to see that it's actually getting a reaction at that level. So we'll see whether or not we now continue to just zoom through this. Maybe go and test the highs of previous days that we mentioned. Or that we get a, uh, we, a position to turn around here. And continue the overall bearish momentum that we've seen over the last few days. For me, I am not actually bullish or bearish. I'm neutral. And that's why I'm having to buy or sell at the moment. And I'm going to be led 
by the signals that I get from the volume scanner. These were what we had yesterday. Uh, from the morning, so there was a buy, there was a sell, buy, and you can see the signals as they came. And I was throwing those out into the chat room uh, for you guys yesterday as well, letting you know. And I think I stopped around about the afternoon session somewhere here, I think. Yeah, I think it was after this one. I didn't do anything else. And it was a dead session anyway yesterday afternoon. All right, guys. So hopefully that was useful. Uh, if you like the content that we're providing here, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If there's something else you want to see, then leave a comment or get in touch with me on Telegram. Send me an email, um, whatever you need to do. Uh, if you're interested in joining the community, then find the details in the description below. Uh, but otherwise, I hope you have a great trading day and come and join us for the webinar tomorrow morning. It starts at seven o'clock and um, we will see you there tomorrow. Take care.